remember Trump's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen, a man who really puts the quotation marks around the word lawyer. <laughs> now, he's under a sham investigation for bank fraud, wire fraud, Sigmund fraud, Fraud City, <laughs> and whatever other BS these justice goons dragged up. Now, we're learning that he is getting rid of his legal team, and the anti-Trump media thinks they know why. This could be essentially a way for Cohen to put pressure on Donald Trump because D the Trump campaign has been paying large sums of money to Cohen's lawyers. And it's been reported that part of this dispute with uh, Cohen's existing lawyers is a dispute over legal fees. This could be Cohen saying, look, pay my fees or I may flip. Ooh, Cohen flipping on his old boss? Never gonna happen. He's so close to Trump that his home address is just a drawing of the president's leg. <laughs> It's about six inches south of the Scrooge McDuck trap stamp. You can't miss it. Now, I don't buy this maybe he'll flip on Trump story. Opposers, the media doesn't know Michael Cohen like I do. That's why we here at The Opposition made a little something to help you understand where Cohen came from and how he ended up as one of the best people. That's me, Michael Cohen. You know me, I'm President Trump's personal lawyer. I've been all over the news lately. Michael Cohen had very deep ties to Donald Trump. The president's personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, is under criminal investigation. Cohen is facing serious jail time. Cohen will definitely flip on Trump if it means saving his own hide. That's bullshit. All you really need to know is I'm one of the best people. I'm gonna tell you where I came from so you can see where I'm headed. Basically, I'm Trump's guy that works in the shadows. That's why everything I do is so shady. Michael Cohen was privy to Donald Trump's business affairs for a decade when he was doing deals all around the world. A lot of the deals that we know are interesting to prosecutors. So he potentially has a lot of stuff to spill. Who the f is this guy? I'm a reporter at WNYC. I also co-host the Trump Inc. podcast. So that makes you a fucking expert smart guy? I've been looking at Donald Trump's business and his business associates closely for about a year and a half. At every stage of Michael Cohen's career, he crossed paths with people who were disciplined, disbarred, charged with crimes, in some cases convicted of crimes. It's clear that he was comfortable being in business with those kinds of people. Listen, I'm the only Michael Cohen expert, and all I can tell you is I ain't crooked and I ain't gonna flip, unless I'm looking at, like, a lot of prison time, and I don't know, the last week's been pretty shitty, to be honest. Up till now, I always said I'd take a bullet for Mr. Trump. Just look how loyal I've been. But you guys are down. And it makes Says sense who? that there would... Says who? Most of them. All of them? Says who? See, I don't care about facts. To coin a phrase, I have a higher loyalty. I grew up a flid. Long Island dick, and my only goal was to make it in the big city. And ever since high school, Donald J. Trump was my idol. Ooh, Trump is pure gold. His hair, his furniture. You know, I bet even his showers are golden. I went to Thomas M. Cooley School of Law, which has topped many lists of American schools. My first law office was in Queens. These days, it's a taxi garage. But back then, it was a taxi garage. It was owned by a Russian, don't overthink it, named Simon Garber. Hey, now I know how to say yellow cab in Russian. Yellow cab. Some people say he was a criminal, but I say... Says who? Simon Garber he was accused of cheating his New York City drivers out of $1.6 million with these bogus late fees that he was later forced to pay restitution for. And he once invaded three homes of his neighbors, ran into a glass door, bloodied himself, and took a shower in his neighbor's house. Taught me everything I know. So I went into the taxi business with a Ukrainian guy. We were worth millions. He pled guilty to IRS fraud, but huh, is that even a crime? No, really, I don't know. I'm asking, is that a crime? Meanwhile, I was getting pretty good at lawyering. I had hundreds of clients, some of whom kept getting into car accidents and rented cars. A lot of them were ex-Soviet types, too. Oh, my neck is hurting. Some people say this whole thing was a scam. I say, says who? Prosecutors say that in the early 2000s, there were a lot of staged vehicle collisions happening in and around New York. They called this Operation Boris for big organized Russian insurance scam. Michael Cohen never faced charges in connection with any of this, but clients and doctors that he worked with 
We're charged. So what? A lot of my clients are doing time, but not me. I'm too smart. I mean, I, I didn't do anything wrong is what I meant. I was flush with cash and I realized I got to live somewhere nice. So in 2007, I started buying a ton of apartments in Trump buildings. Mr. Trump took notice and told the Post I was a very smart person. I would add one of the best people. Three months later, I'm EVP at the Trump Organization. Same job title as Ivanka, Don Jr., and the other one. We were a family, and Mr. Trump was the Don. Donald, I mean, this ain't a mob thing. Donald Trump will become the president. He's become now the godfather of politics. Sure, some people started calling me Tom Hagen. That's the lawyer in the Godfather movies. That's just because I was doing jobs for Donald that no one else would do. Starting LLCs and cutting checks to make any little songbird go away and stop singing their songs, specifically the little birdies who Mr. Trump gave his worm to, if you know what I mean. Dick, I mean his dick. I was Mr. Trump's pit bull and diplomatic genius, especially on the phone with fake news reporters. I'm warning you, Trent, where are you because what I'm going to do to you is going to Mr. Trump got elected president thanks in part to me. And yeah, I thought I was going to be chief of staff, but it wasn't like I was packing my bags or anything. Uh, I'm going to be the personal attorney to Mr. Trump. Uh, I'm not going to be in government. So what? I didn't go to D.C. with the president. Hey, stop showing that bag. You'd have attorney-client privilege with President yes, Trump? Of yes, of course. Yeah, I thought that's what that meant. Then bingo bango, I got raided by the FBI as part of this Russia witch hunt. You know the rest, it's all bullshit, no collusion. You know what else is bullshit? That I owned a stake in my uncle's nightclub, El Caribe, which is supposedly the Russian mob's American headquarters. Getting funneled half a mil from a Russian oligarch into the same account I paid Stormy Daniels from. And the time I threatened the Shark NATO 3 producer for not casting Mr. Trump. Okay, that last one's actually not bullshit. I did that and I'm proud of it. Look it up. Michael Cohen might not be a great lawyer, but he knows a lot of stuff. And going forward, he may feel compelled to tell prosecutors some of that stuff. He basically looks like the most pivotal person right now in the Trump investigation. And to that, I have just one more thing to say. Says who? Or to put it another way, pardon me? Please? Opposers, are there any three words more exciting than click and subscribe? Yes, Hillary shot Lincoln. Subscribe now and find out the truth they don't want you to know. And by they, I mean losers looking for YouTube handouts without clicking subscribe. Do it.